Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Titi, right over back on your screens once again. And in today's video, I'm going to be chatting with you guys about something. I got like the shock of my life this past weekend, okay? I had planned so much content for you guys, but before before all of that, let's, let's get right into today's video, okay? Before we get into today's conversation, I want to thank you guys so much for showing my previous video. So much love. It's been a minute since my like my videos have done well. I'm so used to not even hitting like, um, you know, like a thousand views or whatever the heck, you know, within the day or whatever. And my previous video done has been doing so well. The numbers just keep growing and growing. So I just want to say, if you haven't seen it, click on that. And then today you can see, you know, I don't have my plants here today because I wanted to be just all about me today, you know. So I went, okay, first let's start here. I had planned to record lots of content for you guys, okay? But then the weather has just been disagreeing with me. And I don't know about you, but when it's all, you know, rainy and cuddle weather, I don't want to do my hair. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and do my hair because it's gonna get cold. My hands are gonna get cold. I'm gonna get cold. And I was sick last week. I had like a flu or whatever. So, but now I'm feeling so much better, you know, and my voice is back. Last week, my voice was like all hoarse and all that kind of stuff. And I'm looking cutie today. So I thought, let me hop on here and discuss something that happened to me over the weekend. So, shall we hear that I'm a clear water? I feel like clear water. I actually am like I decided to go to clicks because that's where I buy most of my natural hair stuff because if you actually go if you compare the natural hair section of clicks and discam you will see there's a significant difference because with the discam one they don't really store well rather they don't stock a lot of um you know natural hair products versus clicks whereby they actually you know bring in new um brands etc so shabby hair if you like Put clear water, you know, I go there and hi, I look, I, I'm looking for new brands, you know, because it's been a while since I've done a review. I've been itching to do a review. I want to do a review. I want to show, you know, you guys, the girls that are new to the market. Hi, Kafita, hi, pricey. Ah, guys, <laughs> there's no way. There is no way. There is no way. The price is our natural hair. Uh uh. There's no way. Like, I looked at them. My natural, what is it? It's my natural. Yeah, my natural. That's the brand. My natural, if I'm not mistaken. The, their natural line is about 200. Like, there's no product that costs less than 100 rand. And I was like, why? 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 Hold, hold on. Okay. Shop hair. Mm -mm. Lovely. Maybe they have something new, you know. You guys remember this video over here, right? Where I even titled that this conditioner cost 98 rand. How can you more? Price, did you? Demo. Demo. 115. For the same conditioner I bought last year that cost 98 rand. Inflation. Yo. So I'm just like, hey, Batum. I really don't know. I don't know if having natural hair at this point is even worth it because it's starting to cost too much. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was shocked myself. And you know, I'm a, I'm a natural hair content creator and I was just bamboozled. And the, like, it was honestly shocking to me to see those prices. And I, I don't know if it's because it's a clear water because you know, it's bougie or, or, or what's going on or it's just the inflation and where our economy is at this point and you know what i blame russia <laughs> i blame russia for all of this because had they not started some weird war with ukraine none of this would be happening not just that but also the looting that happened last year i think it's just the residue that's left over and now we are suffering especially us who are you know content creators and i want to show you guys new products you guys know this i i love reviewing and i had intended that this year i want to do more reviews but I also realized that I've done so many that there really isn't much because there aren't really new girls in the market right now. New brands. Every time I say new girls, I mean new brands, okay? Um, so I came here to actually kind of ask you guys, you know, what affordable, affordable, okay? Affordable as in which deep conditioners do you know that cost less than 100 bucks that's designed for natural hair that I can test for you guys so that we can say, you know, that do we like it or do we not? Okay, does it have the CD stamp approval or not? 
and um, I was thinking the Soften Free. Soften Free has a new, well it's not really new, it's been out, it's just that I have not really wanted to try it but now given the fact that you know everything's looking the way it's looking, I think I need to go give it a try. I know they have that cannabis shampoo um, and they also have leave-in conditioner and I know they have that coconut spray thing and the deep conditioner. So you guys must let me know if you want me to try the Soften Free and then the other brand I wanted to try is Vida. Vida has been um, creating products for my relaxed babes and soften free obviously I used to use soften free you know when I was relaxed babe but they have come up with a cool natural hair range I'll show you guys properly here obviously you can't see but go follow them on Instagram if you want more information obviously but I can't seem to find it they had said that they're already launched in clicks um, nationally but I went to two clicks and they're not there so I think I'm gonna try different clicks and see if I can find them there or I'll just DM them and ask them where can I find their products and then I can test them for you guys and other brands that are affordable because at the end of the day i don't think natural hair should be battling you know as an expense in your budget you know i don't think that it should be costing you this much just to just to wash your hair it shouldn't be that deep right or am i exaggerating or they should be charging us 200 for a deep conditioner you guys must let me know um and then the other thing is i want to go live on friday this friday seven o'clock you guys already know let me know if that's what you guys if you want me to do that i really miss like having a proper chat with you guys that's live so we can just whoo you know just chat just chat and the other thing is that i've been wearing out my hair like this so i think my previous video was in a high band i think after that video i took out that high band and this is how i've been wearing my hair i've been loving it but the only thing that i think i have a bad habit on is picking my hair but i've stopped i think it's been two days now since i've picked my hair but for the last other days it's been excessive like i just find myself in my hair you know detangling taking out knots and stuff on dry hair so obviously that's not good but i'm learning and i'm getting much better with that you guys must let me know if you if some of you guys actually wear your hair out like this in a fro uh, frequently and I've not been minding it regardless of the weather honestly because my hair is quite long even though right now it's shrunken it's like fully shrunken so I go into the shower like this I don't wear a shower cap and then I come out I fluff it out put on my leave-in and um, shea butter and that's it which is the other thing because of the price shock that I got <laughs> i am trying to build a natural hair routine that isn't that doesn't cost too much right so i'm looking for two in one type of products you know what i mean i want to be able to use my deep conditioner as my leave-in but it must say on the product that it you know it's two for one kind of vibes and i'm looking for well in terms of moisturizing i think i'm quite set because i don't really use expensive things uh i use my hibiscus i make it home you guys know this and i will probably just use my shea butter i haven't been really using oils it's been almost a full month now of me not using oils i've been liking it i like how my hair feels like it doesn't feel like hard if that makes any sense um and i feel that it holds it it's, it actually goes for quite some time without it um drying out so i've been liking that and then in terms you know that's just certain things that you can't run away from especially when you're a natural hair um enthusiast like myself so hear me out right so imagine if we could get like one of those two in one moisturizing class clarifying shampoo and you just buy one that's one price and i don't mind then paying 115 if it's if it's that if that's the case but if it's just a clarifying shampoo and i have to buy i have to pay 115 and then i must still buy another you know moisturizing shampoo for like maybe 100 bucks or 130 it's insane even like if you guys check the price of masori oh they have increased they have increased i know they have the new packaging you know i know that they have um they have a new marketing strategy now and i know that they are available in more places now which i'm so excited for and i love 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 that they have done that um but the prices are like 165 175 it's close to 200 and to tell you the truth by next year these products are going to be costing 200 and remember when i bought them remember i did like a whole review here um they didn't cost that much i promise they didn't so for me it's i wish we could start then creating products if brand if any brands are watching two in one products because i'm not gonna lie if i start seeing people 
relaxing their hair because natural hair has become so expensive i won't be shocked and as a matter of fact i won't even try to convince you not to relax your hair and i'm not saying you should i mean we all know why you shouldn't but it's probably an easier alternative i don't know how much a relaxer costs now but i know you can just relax your hair at home yourself kind of diy it but um the the cost of everything right now is just ridiculous and i'm starting to think that it's a scam especially brands that have been in the market that we used to create products for people with relaxed hair and now they're branching into natural hair are kind of seeing this as a money making scheme whereby they cannot charge you know like 200 for a conditioner whereas when they have like relaxed hair the products cost like 69 rand so for me i just think it's a little bit weird that that's where it's going as a matter of fact i think because we can see where black females are you know going towards why aren't we making that market more accessible and affordable for people to transition e um easier into natural hair from relaxers and if companies such as dove pantene head and shoulders yada yada people who create brands that create products for people with type a1 hair can keep their conditioners under 100 rand and i'm assuming press um you know pr uh, pr brands like dove they have good you know milky moisturizing um shampoos and conditioners why is it that we can also find good reputable brands that are giving us and producing good quality natural hair products at an at an affordable price it was such it was just like big question marks okay on all of my face i was so bamboozled i ended up not even i got so discouraged I, and overwhelmed and bamboozled by all of these prices that i was seeing that i actually just walked out and um yeah man so that is me i don't want to make this video too long just want to say thank you guys so much for showing my previous video so much love and let us yeah you guys must let me know am i the one who's broke am i not the target market or they are charging way too much <laughs> let me know comment below and then i will definitely see you guys in my next video oh.